Well, welcome back, my friends, to another rousing rendition of Choir Boys Cutlery Outdoors, a nymph from Work Tough Gear, because it's Work Tough Gear Wednesday, if you will. Before we get started into the video, there was a time in this country where 22 veterans a day took their own lives. Now, stats show that number's going down. However, anything over zero is simply unacceptable. Vets, we love you. You have a place here. We're back to blue over here. We support Leo. How do you do that, Scab? Oh, we don't break the damn law. And when we do, because we have, we take responsibility. And finally, if you are an addict, never quit quitting. So today, we're doing the Nymph, designed by Jeremy Boulder Valentine, built by Work Tough Gear. This is N690 Cryo. This is an awesome, awesome little knife. Now, let me give you a couple specs as we're watching this. I'm going to have Jeremy on tonight. I'm hoping for our Work Tough Gear uh, Wednesday Live. I always look forward to those. I hope you'll join us there on the channel. The handle on this sucker is about three and three quarter inches. The blade is three inches with about a three inch cutting surface, if not a little more because of the belly. We got about a six and seven eighths overall length and then it is made out of, it looks like just under, well, it looks like 3 16 blade stock of that N690 Cryo. Great, great knife. <coughs> Let me just say this. I am a massive fan of Jeremy's designs. He's designed the Thor. He's designed the Wilson, the Nymph, and he's made several knives. Guy's an incredible talent. And I love this knife. I love the setup. I carry it like a pocket fixed blade. Now, for the video, for the video, we're carrying it like a neck knife. That's not how I normally carry it. What I usually do is loop the sheath through the paracord, through my belt, and just stick it down in my pocket to make it for easy grabbing. It comes with a great nylon sheath, or a kydex sheath, sorry, great kydex sheath, molly compatible, and an ample piece of uh, paracord on there. Now, the thing that impressed me about this knife is it's a do-all knife, right? For a three inch blade, it will put in some work and that's exactly what we're gonna show here. We're gonna zip through these zip ties. I'll show you the blade, the edge as we go. It held up insanely well. No problems, no chipping, no roll. And we've come to expect that really from Work Tough Gear. Now, again, this year, year three, we're, we're, we're testing ourselves. We're doing knives that aren't in our purview. I love this knife. This is a knife that I will carry quite a bit. It is a, a pocket fixed blade for me. It took care of this ratchet strap. And really, guys, here's the truth. Here's the God's honest truth. If the knife can cut that two-inch ratchet strap right out of the box, I am very, very, very happy. Let's talk about some of the aesthetics of the knife. It comes with two lanyard holds. You can affix it to a, a spear, make a nice spear. The handle, and I do want to discuss this because you can put paracord on the handle, you can wrap the handle, you can do whatever you want to do with the handle, but here's the deal. The handle is insanely comfortable in and of itself, all right? There are no squared off corners on that handle. Everything was thought of. Everything's rounded off really well. It has a slight, it's, it's, it's not a ramp, it's got some really good jimping there, some nice fullers. Uh, it's got a sharpening choil. The aesthetics of this thing are just absolutely beautiful. Looks like a drop point, polished edge right here. And you see, again, with this two inch ratchet strap, we puncture it and we pull that. That's to simulate, it. the ratchet strap to me is more like hide for hunters. Is there any kind of hide that you're gonna take on tougher than this? I don't think so. You might kill a rhinoceros, hell, I don't know. But the thing that I love about this knife is its versatility. You can use it for food prep. You can use it for bushcrafting. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. And what I like to do is just cut as many mediums as I can. That, that's a big thing. We cut the zip ties, we repurpose the zip ties and cut them again because I actually cut zip ties every day. Tomorrow I've got to cut about 40 of them, seriously. So I want a knife that'll cut a zip tie and hold up. The edge won't roll, won't chip. I've had knives do that. Seriously, that's why I like the zip tie test so much. Now this is part of the old busted up um, 4x4, I believe, what the remnants of it. So we're just going to do some batoning right here. This impressed the shit out of me. It's 3 16 inch blade stock went right through. It actually 
wedged itself in and split it. And you can see right here that we're just going to process this wood all the way down and we're going straight through knots. That's the thing. When you see me baton, and I know not everybody batons, a lot of folks carry what they need with them. A hatchet, the, the proper chopper, something heavy to chop with, Wilson, whatever. But if you have to, that's how I base these reviews, guys, especially if you're a new subscriber or something like that. We don't really compare knives. I don't like doing that. What I like to do is do a demonstration or review, look at that polished edge, based on the knife in my hand, okay? Meaning, this is the knife I have. This is the knife we're going to work with. It has to work. So let's put it to the test. The other thing that we do on Work Tough Gear Wednesdays, which happy Work Tough Gear Wednesday, by the way, is this. We try to prove the tough in Work Tough Gear. So what we're doing here is just hammering the knife down into that old 2x4. Right? We're going to twist a little bit, push a little bit, see what it'll do. We're going to do it again. Hammer it down, twist a little bit, see if it messes with the tip, see if it messes with the edge, see if it does anything. Shocker, spoiler alert, it doesn't. This is a tough little knife. Now, my hands, the maul of my hand is like, is right at four, four and a quarter, something like that. The maul of my hand is extra large. My fingers are not. I'm built weird. I say it all the time, but it's the truth. Now, why do I say that? I can get, personally, I can get a full four finger grip on this knife without having to choke up, without having to take a fencing thing. If I want to drop back some, I can. I can still get a full three finger grip. Now, Matt Pearson, great dude, awesome channel. I think it's Blazes and Blades. Matt's an awesome guy. He has one of these. Matt's 6'8 and about 300 plus. He's a big dude. Matt, if you would, I know you got one of these. Tell me if you can get a four or a three finger grip on yours. That, that'll tell us a lot. I know Matt's probably got a double X hand. I've got an XL, but I can get a full four finger. Now watch this. This right here, this test right here, this demonstration right here proved everything I needed between this. I could have done this and the ratchet strap and been done and been thoroughly impressed. That's two inch, quarter inch, high pressure air hose, it's two ply, right? The knife blew through it, put pressure on the tip, went straight down. Edge bevel's perfect, edge alignment's perfect. There we did a little old man grip with some slicing if you need to do that. Here we're just making some, some little curly cues and what a fantastic job it did. Now, a special shout out right here guys for Grugs at Legion Tactical. Man, he is getting super close to a thousand. Get over there, please. Grubs does a lot with Work Tough Gear. He loves Work Tough Gear. He really supports me and my videos. And it would mean a lot if you would go over and su subscribe to Grubs at Legion Tactical. Also, Donnie B. All Day hit 10,000. Congrats, brother. My brother from another mother, Joe. Uh, Steel Force and Fire, Sword and Knife. And we got a special shout out to John Heffron, Wingman 115. You know him, man. You love him. Awesome dude. Awesome brother in the blade is marching to 50K. If you're not subscribed to Wingman, get over there. All right, right here, we've cut all kind of mediums. Think about the things we've cut. Seriously, we cut the ratchet strap two or three times. We've cut all kind of high pressure air hose. We're coming in now, we're gonna cut a bunch of cardboard. We're gonna cut some mule tape. We're gonna cut a bottle. We've cut a lot of mediums, guys. And here's the thing again, with a knife this size, a, a pocket fixed blade, that, that and, and again, in some previous jobs, I dealt with a lot of mule tape. I cut zip ties every day. I try to show you things that I use every day. And here's the deal. <clears throat> you can translate, <clears throat> translate that over into your day-to-day -day use. Again, food prep, this thing works. And I'm sorry guys, I'm filthy. That, that's just part of working and part of powder coating and what I do. It was important for me to get this video in because I love this knife. I love work tough gear. Jeremy is an awesome dude and I cannot wait for our live tonight. Now, right here, would I carry the knife? Well, yeah, of course I will. It, it's a fantastic knife. The edge held up really well. We're gonna see that here. For everything we cut, I like finishing with this little demonstration. Stab my finger there, that a boy scab. But I like finishing with this demonstration here because we try to put as much wear on the edge as we can. Knife came through with flying colors, guys. The nymph, Jeremy Boulder Valentine, badass. I'm scab, you're not.